Hi, I'm Matt from ArcGSB, and I'm going to show you how ArcGSB handles sending and receiving files over AS2. In my last video tutorial, I configured an AS2 connection in real time, so check that out for some context if you haven't already. In this video, I'll talk about sending and receiving files once that AS2 connection is configured. To talk about sending, first I'll need to navigate to the Input tab for a configured AS2 connector. The Input tab shows a list of files that the AS2 connector will send out, and currently there aren't any. With this More drop-down, you can upload files or even create a set of test files, and I'll show you what that looks like in a little while. It's important to note, though, that the Input tab corresponds to a particular folder on disk, called the Send folder. The full path to this folder is here in the Input tab. You can place a file directly in the Send folder, and it accomplishes the same thing as uploading a file in this connector. Now once I've uploaded a file and selected it, the Send button tells the connector to send out the file. This isn't necessary by default, though, since the connector automatically sends out files added to the Send folder. You can disable this automation by navigating to the Automation tab and unchecking the Send option. There's one more thing to note about this Send folder. Let's say I add another connector to the flow, like this File connector. If it's connected to the AS2 connector like this, then files picked up by the File connector will automatically move to the Send folder for the AS2 connector. Then it'll be sent out just like any other file. All right, now let's briefly talk about receiving files. When ArcGSB receives an AS2 message, it tries to route the message to a specific AS2 connector. It matches the AS2 identifier in the message to the AS2 identifiers configured in each AS2 connector. If it finds a match, then that connector settings are used to decrypt and to process that message. Now once processed, the payload of the message is placed in the AS2 connector's output tab. Just like the input tab, the output tab corresponds to a particular folder on disk, this time called the receive folder, and the path to the folder is displayed here in the output tab. If the AS2 connector is part of a connected workflow, for instance if it's connected to the file connector like this, then files won't remain in the receive folder because they'll be passed along to the next connector in the flow. To actually show you sending and receiving, I'll now create a self-test where ArcGSB sends to itself. I'll configure the AS2 connector to match my own AS2 profile, and files that are sent out by the connector will immediately get routed right back to the same connector. So, the AS2 connector should be configured like this. The AS2 identifier needs to be the same identifier from my profile. The partner URL needs to be the same receiving URL value that was generated from my public domain in the profile. And the encryption certificate needs to match the private certificate from my profile. So now I can save the configuration and test it by navigating to the Input tab. I'll create a set of test files using this More dropdown, then I'll select them, and now I'll send them out. Once they're sent, I can see this green Sent status indicating that they were successfully received. And I can also navigate to the Output tab to confirm that the connector received the same test files that I just sent out. This looks a little silly since it's just a self-test, but it simulates how you would view files received from actual trading partners. And that's it! Thanks for watching, and you can always find more resources and even a free trial of the application at archaeusb.com.